This swamp's a mighty queer place. Lots of folks has died here. Sure enough. You got to take care of where you step so he isn't sucked in. I expect there's lots of bodies in this here swamp. You don't say it. Ain't I telling you? Strangers that wanders through here is gone for they can call for help. And the more they struggle, the quicker they sink. No. Ah! Help! Sorry me! Come now! Somebody come get me! Talk to me! Good gracious of me! What happened? Good! Good! Now look at that! Curious, no one has sent flowers or turned up to sympathize. Haven't they heard about Lila's death in the neighborhood around here? Yes, of course. News travels fast in a district like this where not very much happens. Well, then why haven't any other friends turned up? They hadn't any friends. Vaughn Altman didn't encourage visitors, and Lila was never interested in the local gentry anyway. Do you mean to say they never saw anyone but each other and the servants? Oh, Lila used to go into New Orleans now and then on prolonged visits. Uh, it was a strange life for a girl as young as Lila. Was she happy, do you think? I don't know. What's that? It's hers, the one she was wearing. You might take it back to Vaughn Altman. I will look about here. We agreed not to lose touch with one another while we're stuck in this place. I'll follow you back in ten minutes. I promise, absolutely. To my dearly beloved husband, Max Heinrich Walterman, I give and bequeath all my estate, both real and personal. <whistles> you know, I shouldn't have shown you this. It's a breach of confidence. So that's the will she signed. Her last will and testament. Are you absolutely certain? Oh, absolutely. I witnessed it before the notary who came with the attorney. Then Von Alterman lied to throw us off the scent. Lied? He told us the will was in Scott's favor. He must have known we'd find out the truth in a couple of days. And he's much too slick to get himself into a jam like that without a pretty good reason. Perhaps he was only testing Mr. Warrington. How's that? Perhaps he thought Mr. Warrington wasn't so grieved about his sister's death as anxious about her estate. It's more likely that he deliberately tried to bamboozle us just in case we were getting suspicious. You know, you're wrong about Dr. Von Alterman. You've misjudged him completely. Are you being loyal or dumb? Or are you just uh, covering up for him? You say you're a detective. Find out. What do you want, Max? Wow! The rosy! Don't look! Don't look! Good! What do you mean there? A cough. A cough? A mm. cough? I don't know whose it is, and they can't tell me, and I ain't gonna stay here long enough as. Let's go down to the house and tell the folks. It's hers, isn't it? Lila's. She was wearing it. Perhaps. I'll inquire. Well, what's the matter with you now? I just saw a corpse down by the swamp. A corpse? You don't by any chance mean Madame Von Ullerman's body? No, sir. A strange he corpse. A he called him. Yes, sir, and he's been shot long, deep, wide, and consecutive. Yeah, it is right here, Mr. Larry. It... Well, it was here. Are you sure you saw it, Jeff? You're not just seeing things again, are you? I'm seeing things, but it's things that I don't want to see. Well, it's not here now. That's plain enough. Looking for something? Oh, yeah, a murdered corpse. Don't think a murderer would leave his victim here, do you? And the swamp close enough to conceal the evidence? No, it doesn't seem likely, does it? I reckon he came around the same way of thinking, too. What's the matter with him? Drive them on. Well... Go after them. This line's dead. Perhaps the storm last night blew down the wires.
anything wrong? Yes, Dr. Keating is missing. Missing? Since when? I left him out on the grounds over an hour ago, and he said he'd follow me right back in. He hasn't turned up. It's a little early to be concerned, isn't it? I don't think so. Have you found out what happened to Lila's body? No, not yet. Well, I want the police notified without any more delay. Now, will you do it, or shall I? Well, I'll telephone at once, if you wish. Well, you can't do that, Dr. Von Alderman. I'm sorry, the telephone isn't working. Something really should be done about those wires. I'll send a message to the sheriff. And tell him I'll give him half an hour to get here. Like Jeff's voice. The call. Another one? No, sir. The same one again. I recognize the lady on his arms. Come and come quick. Where is it? In your car. It... And he was in no condition to drive. 